Jeffrey Gamer is not responsible for your game files. All mods in this tutorial have been tested and work properly. I strongly advise you back up your files as shown in this video in case you make any mistakes. I also advise you watch the full video before installing any mods. Thanks. Enjoy the tutorial. What is up beautiful people? Welcome back to another episode of Jeffrey Gamer Tutorials. Your boy Jeffrey Gamer here. And I'm here to show you a uh, quick script that uh, I should have added it in with my um, uh, my must-have mods. Because in my opinion, this script is awesome to have. But I will warn you, it's kind of hit and miss. But when you get it to work, it, it it's awesome. It's a great script. And, you know, I'll explain more as we get into it because... As you know, we will be doing an in-game uh, demo of this mod. And like I said, I think it's an important mod to have into your game. And that mod is going to be Vocal Dispatch. Um, what Vocal Dispatch is, is it allows you to vocally dispatch uh, different things within your LSPDFR game. Whether you're calling for backup, whether you're showing 10.8, whether you're showing code 4. Uh, you need coroner, EMS, um, you know, we'll go over all that stuff in the game. And uh, and I'll also give you a, a little tip on when I record my videos. Um, something that's just a super uh, realistic uh, addition to when you're recording. Or when you're just playing and you like that realism to it. Vocal dispatch is a great thing to have, okay? To all of my subscribers, thank you guys so much. For your love and support and to jeffrey gamer without you i truly would not be here so thank you thank you so much you guys are the absolute best if you're new here and this tutorial helped you out hit that subscribe hit that like button ring that bell so you know new content and the giveaway uh when that happens you don't want to miss out on that i want to give a warning that um Jeffrey Gamer, myself, I am not responsible for any of your game files that you may ruin during this tutorial. I advise you watch the full video and then go back and watch it again on the parts and how to install it. I know sometimes I can ramble on, but I really like to give you all the information I can because my only goal is to make sure you guys have the best gaming experience ever and I never want to steer you wrong and have you install anything the wrong way so we will quickly be showing you how to back up your game files okay actually i have a video on it definitely go check that video out if you don't know how to do it okay but i strongly suggest you back up your game files uh before you do any mods and uh, you know mods like this one because this will be changing your audio files okay so let's get into it Hit the link below, and that link is going to say Vocal Dispatch 1.8.1.0. And what that's going to do is that's going to bring you to this page right here. Okay, Vocal Dispatch 1.8.1.0. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, this will, just a little demo of the mod, but we are going to do that ourselves. And it shows you some of the features of it. Uh, last time it was updated was March 16th of last year, so a little over a year ago, um, but that's not to say that the uh, the creator of it, uh, Turbo Fan Dude, thank you so much for your, uh, for your work for LSPDFR. Uh, it's not to say that he won't come out soon with a, with a new update. Who knows? Now, one thing, uh, one thing about this, well, yeah, everybody has that. So, yeah. So yeah, so this just shows you some of the stuff it has. And if you go down here to the comments section, um, it, it, it only, it, a lot of people, uh, crashes when I go on duty. If I have a mic inside laptop, it, it's, I've never had any issues with it. I've been rocking my vocal dispatch ever since I downloaded LSPDFR. So, um, but we will show you how to remove the mod uh if it gives you any issues with your game okay so 
go ahead and click that download this file button and you're going to agree and download uh, mine I just have my WinRAR just download it right here above my taskbar some people like to put it into a downloads folder or their desktop put it wherever you'd like as long as you can get to that file okay so once you've done that uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up that WinRAR no I don't want to buy you okay and then we're going to keep the WinRAR right there and minimize. We're all set with our web browser. So we're going to kind of put this here. Now I got to remember because it doesn't show me here, but I know right, my face is right around this area. So I don't want to block anything out. Okay. First thing we're going to, the only thing we're going to need to do this install is going to be our main directory. So go ahead and open up your file explorer. Okay. And to get to your main directory for Steam users, anyways, um, you're gonna go. You're gonna click your local disk drive, whether it be C, D, whatever. Uh, mine is in C. And you're gonna go to Program Files times 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common. And here's your Grand Theft Auto uh, Common. This isn't your main directory. This is you know your common folder that has your Grand Theft Auto game in it. This is where I suggest if you're going to put this mod in this Grand Theft Auto, if you have multiple Grand Theft Autos, whichever one you're putting it in, which is probably going to say Grand Theft Auto V with no dash and no writing, like these ones have. See how they got the dash and then the writing there. Um, you're going to left click, right click, copy, go down here, left click, right click, paste okay that way if there's any issues with your game after downloading this mod this is a step that can take up to 15 to 20 minutes but it can save you hours and days of having to bring your lspdfr back up to where it was before you installed vocal dispatch i strongly strongly advise that you do this step real quick pause this video do this step and worst case scenario Vocal Dispatch works great in your game. No reason to take it out. You have an extra copy of Grand Theft Auto sitting there in case something else messes up. So definitely do this step right here. Unless you have other, unless you already have copies of it, then by all means, let's keep going. So another thing that you could do is you could right click this just once and you can pin to quick access. And what that's going to do is that's going to sling your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder over here to your quick access. So now whenever you want to install a mod or anything again, bring up your file explorer. All you got to do is just click that Grand Theft Auto. And there we are. Okay. But for right now, go ahead and double click your Grand Theft Auto. That's going to bring you into the, grand, into the GTA main directory. This is your main directory. Here you got your plugins folder. Okay. This install, very, very simple, okay? So let me just make sure this is down because like I said, I know my face is up here. My last tutorial, I, I realized after editing it and watching it that my face was covering some of the, some of the uh, uh, files in that that I was trying to click. So we're gonna try to bring this over where I know my, I need to make it so I can see my face while I'm recording up there so I know what room I have to work with. Okay, so. Like I say in all of my tutorials, when we bring these files over to here, do not drop the files anywhere right here. Okay? Don't touch anything right now. Let me show you what I mean. In case you're new here, this is your first time watching one of my videos. If I take this file, right? I left click it and I hold in that left button and I drag it on over here. Now, as you can see, if I bring it anywhere over here, you don't see nothing highlight which means that's a safe spot that I can drop this file if I wanted. Now, if I drag it down here and you see that, boom, you see how those just highlighted? You don't wanna drop it there, okay? Now, same thing with these folders. Again, don't touch nothing. Let me just show you this real quick. If I take this again, left click it, hold it in. If I bring it over here, there's nothing here. But once you start getting up near these folders, boom. You don't wanna drop it anywhere that it highlights like that, okay? <laughs> what I like to do is just past this size uh, column 
you got this what I call the buffer zone okay as you can see you can go over quite a bit before it before it wants to select this whole empty area right here is where I like to drop my files okay so up here I know you could see it's got five files in here we don't need all five of them kind of bring your main directory down a little bit where you can see your ELS didn't put eight that area right there okay now hold in your control key and you're gonna select auto LTX3 underscore times 64 dot DLL plugins LSPDFR okay and you're gonna let go of your control key you're gonna left click and hold you're gonna drag it over here right to this little area right here and you're just gonna let that left button go and it's gonna shoot it's gonna drop all three of these files into your game I'm not gonna do it because I already did it but you go ahead and do it okay now once they go in you'll see your plugins folder um, and your LSPDFR folder you'll see these two uh, they'll highlight and they'll look like that okay that means it worked it took and if you come down here there's my auto ITX3 and that's in okay so this one's gonna be right here in your main directory all the rest is gonna be inside your LSPDFR and your plugins folder now if you want to look at this here's your pathways if you click LSPDFR and then go over here click LSPDFR police scanner click it police scanner click it vocal dispatch audio vocal dispatch audio now if for some reason you don't like this mod or it makes your game mess up or whatever you are going to this is the pathway that you're going to take to remove it first off you're going to remove the auto LTX3 and it, you simply do that by right clicking it delete and you delete it then you want to go into your LSPDFR folder double click police scanner double click vocal dispatch you're going to left click it once right click it delete okay then you're going to want to go back to your main directory go to plugins click LSPDFR there's a there's a vocal dispatch folder here you would left click it to highlight it right click it delete then you go down here to vocal dispatch you got the INI file with the little sprocket there remember we talked about the little sprocket you're gonna hold your control key click that click the vocal dispatch DLL highlight them both right click delete and that's it vocal dispatch will be removed from your game and you know you refresh it go back into it and it's gone you never have to worry about it again I say give it a chance okay it, it's it's a great game if it causes your game to crash you might want to look into making sure that um, your uh, script hook V is um, is an updated version or your rage native UI I noticed that I had plugins that I had an old rage native UI so I got an updated one through a different mod and it's actually from October of 2019 and it works great now I have vocal dispatch and I've had it I've got so many call outs so many plugins so many mods in my game right now but my game runs flawlessly does it crash once in a great while it might crash after being on for like an hour hour and a half the most problem the problem I'm having most right now is uh, texture dropping in my game if I'm on for about an hour hour and a half I notice the roads might start disappearing in that so but I think that has to do with my graphics and or whatever so now that we have this these three files in here now that you know how to remove them if you don't like this mod you know how to remove it and then you'll your game will go back to the way it was before you watch this tutorial and put them in we can go ahead and exit out of our WinRAR so get rid of that you can get rid of your shortcut if you left a shortcut on your desktop you can go ahead and get rid of that now let's go into the INI file real quick just so I can show you some of the ways to set that up so you're gonna double click your plugins folder in your main directory 
and then you're going to click LSPDFR. And um, what's inside of this one? Yeah, that's just audio, and the, it this is this shows you what it links up to, but <laughs> you don't really have to worry too much about that. You're going to go down here to the bottom where it has the the uh, sprocket there, vocal dispatch. This is your I and I file. Double click that now. Now that we're in here, I'm going to make it big for you guys so you can... No, I'm not going to make it big because my face is in the way of that, I bet. All right, so we're going to bring this down to here. Now, this should say... Uh, see, mine is... Mine, I've changed some of mine. Uh, make sure this says EN-US, okay? Because they do have one for... Uh, I want to say it's like... Oh, I forget. I forget. But they do have one for like uh, British. I think I want to say it's British. Um, this controls whether or not vocal dispatch will display immersive messages instead of more technical, but less immersive. Um, honestly, I left that at true. Now, this I put to true because when I am role playing, when true, this tells vocal dispatch to respond to unrecognized input with the generic 10-4. So if I'm role playing, I'll just say something like uh, dispatch suspects heading eastbound on such and such road. And instead of it popping up a message that says it did not understand, she'll say 10-4 and she'll, um, she'll say my call number, which we'll go over that as well, okay? So I put that on true just because it's a little better for if you're role playing or making videos so um this controls whether or not vocal dispatch will play a tone when it be when it begins listen listening in other words it simulates the the double beep with the police radio in real life so i kept that at true uh ch 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 i kept that the same uh this right here is your um the r menu and the panic modifier key <coughs> is our control key. This doesn't really do anything. The R menu is going to be your right alt key to the right side of your space bar. Now, you can put this to whatever you want. If you go right here, if you put this in to your address bar and look it up, it'll tell you what all the keys are as far as you know what to put them in as right here i cut mine at our menu i believe that's what came on yours but um i had mine hooked up to my controller key and um which you can see down here it lets you put it up to d-pad up d-pad down d-pad left but i had mine hooked up to my x key but then every time i wanted to jump over a fence or something my dispatch tone would go off. So I moved it back to just my uh, our menu key, which is the right alt key, okay? So down here in controller, eh, you could probably leave that alone. Um, just leave them both at none. But if you want to put them on whatever you want to put them on, that's up to you. And right here, this is your division, unit, and beat number. Now mine is one, Adam six, okay? And you, you pretty much want to match this up with any other, uh, for instance, uh, what would it be? Traffic policer, I and I, yeah. So your division one, Adam six. So in all of, all of, not all of your plugins, cause some don't ask you, but some plugins will ask you what your division unit and beat number is. So you want to make sure they all match up just so when your radio is going off, you know, it's all the same so set that to whatever your division unit and beat number is and then once you're done you're gonna go up here you're gonna click save and we can go ahead and exit out of that we are all set with this so you can uh, refresh and go back to main directory refresh and we can exit out of our file Explorer now before we jump into the game let me give you another little tip down below is uh some information on a a little mod that i use in my game when i'm recording that is a it's called broadcastify 
com. Okay. And what it does is it is a, as you can hear it, it's a police scanner. And you can pick any city, any state. Um, and what it does, it'll play, you know, I'll go to the, to the one that's got the most listeners because it's the most heaviest, uh, trafficked one. Um, and I'll just play this in the background while I'm recording and it just adds so much more realism to your game. Okay. So I just wanted to put this out there again. It's called Broadcastify, B R O A D C A S T I F I F Y dot com. Okay. And it kind of looks like that. And what you would do is you would just, I'm not even sure if you guys can see this right now, but. Um, excuse me, it will, uh, just kind of play in the background and it's a, it's a great, it's a great thing to have when you're recording. So, um, I don't, I, if you, if you do streams or even if not just having that in the background, it just adds that some people like to role play to themselves. That's cool. Sometimes that adds, you know, pretty cool, uh, realism to your game. So let's get to the end game. And let me show you just some of the things that uh, that this game can do. Okay, so I'll see you in the game. Okay, guys, so I know I said we were going to jump into the game, but there was one thing that I forgot to have you guys do. Uh, don't worry, nothing's messed up. This is the ne this is a, a next step. Okay, so 10 codes. All right, 10 codes is important for the game so down below hit this next link that is going to say 10 codes 1.0.0 okay and what that's going to do is that's going to bring you to this page oh i'm sorry not this page <laughs> it's going to bring you to this page right here okay 10 codes uh integration for vocal dispatch now this right here is um something you want to print this out i have it printed out it's taped right to the bottom of my screen until you can memorize them these are the codes that um they will i'll show you in the game okay so what you want to do very 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 simple install uh you're going to click download this file same thing save it you know it might start up for you down here it might go to your desktop wherever you want to put it okay and once that downloads we're going to go ahead and open up the winrar and close out of that now we are all set with our uh web browser so we can go ahead and exit out of that and bring up your main directory again like i said i hope you shot that uh Grand Theft Auto over to your quick access because now we can just click Grand Theft Auto. Here's our main directory. Folks, it's going to be the exact same thing. Okay. Now, when you get it, when you open your WinRAR, it's going to say 10 codes for vocal dispatch. Double click that. Double click Grand Theft Auto. There's your plugins folder. Okay. Remember what I said? Kind of come down near this ELS, didn't put eight area. You're going to left click that plugins, hold in that left button. Drag it to right here and let it go. That's all you got to do. Let it go. And you'll, again, you'll see your plugins folder light up. That's how you know it worked. And there's nothing to go in and look at. Everything, uh, everything is good to go. So, you know, as a matter of fact, I myself will go ahead and drop that in there. And we're going to, we're going to go ahead and replace that file in the destination. Okay. So that is it so we hit the refresh and we go back to our main direct oh we're already in the main directory we hit refresh we can exit out of the file explorer now and now we are 100 percent good to go in the game and let's do a demo inside the game all right everybody now that we're in the game here let's go ahead and go over a few of the things that are on the 10 codes uh mod that i that i told you you should install okay um 
just to go over a, a couple of them, just to show you how easy and how beautiful this vocal dispatch can and cannot work, okay? Now, I say cannot work because sometimes uh, she doesn't, she meaning the dispatcher, <laughs> she won't recognize what you say. Now, remember inside the INI file, I put true on her saying 10-4, um, 10 four, instead of saying that it doesn't uh, recognize what I'm saying. So if I click my alt button, which I have my vocal dispatch, you'll hear the tone, okay? Dispatch, I am all by myself here. See, she'll copy back and say 10 four. Instead, if you don't select true on that, it'll say, uh, it'll show you above the thing that, yeah, I didn't copy that, okay? Sometimes she'll say copy that one Adam six. She'll call she'll do your call out number depending on whatever you put in the INI file where mine was your uh your uh unit, your beat, and your um uh whatever the top one was. So uh let's see if we can get her to say my call out number. Dispatch, I think you're beautiful. There you go. See, now she'll She'll sometimes she'll she'll give you back your call number, so that's cool. Now, let's say let's uh, let's go pull somebody over real quick, okay? And just show you a couple of things that we can do on this. So we're gonna just pull this person over. Okay, so let's get out. And let's run up to the car. How you doing, sir? Can you step out of your vehicle for me, please? Okay, now, what we could do is we'll do our little stop the ped there. And we will, we're going to arrest him, okay? You're under arrest, sir, for nothing. <laughs> I'm quoting my boy Criminal Justice on that one. One of his videos, man. He said, come here, man, you're under arrest for nothing. <laughs> and it was just the funniest shit I ever heard. It was great. All right, so let's say we're going to walk this guy over here, right? And we smell narcotics in his car or something. Now, one of the 10 codes is for a canine unit. So you hit your dispatch button. One item six to dispatch. Can you send me a 1011, please? Now this is what I mean. Sometimes she'll under, sometimes she'll hear you, sometimes she doesn't. Oh, but she heard me. She just took a little longer. So she heard me. She understood the. You can say whatever you want, but as long as you put that ten eleven in there, she'll send you your canine unit. Okay. So here comes the canine unit, and they'll get out with the dog, and you'll be able to ask them to uh, search the vehicle or whatever. Um, if this person was injured, you can get on there and dispatch. I also need a 1052 to Armadillo and Algonquin Boulevard. See that? So she understood the 1052. You could say whatever you want to say, but as long as you have that 10 code in there, um, she'll send it. So here comes the ambulance. Uh, 1039 is the coroner suspect transport. Okay. Let's pretend we search this guy. He's in the CAD. We got everything we need. Well, that's a fat dog. That's chop. So now we need a prisoner transport. One Adam six to dispatch. Can I get a ten sixteen for a male subject? Sorry guys. <laughs> that's my little boy back there. So as you see, we do the you know the uh, ten sixteen. That's the prisoner transport. And, you know, it's got, it's got all sorts of stuff. <laughs> um, as you can see, no crashes, nothing like that. Um, everything seems to be working great. I've read a lot of people saying they have all sorts of crashes and stuff on the game. And uh, we'll go ahead and tell him that he can go. He can take your doggy and go, man. Um, and I, I don't know. I've had nothing but 
great things with this mod. Uh, one thing I would advise to do is if you get a call and uh, like dispatch just came through and as you can see your your vocal your uh, your regular dispatch your call out manager it'll all still work the same it did okay the only thing you did now is you're just now you're biting into that mod with your microphone which is awesome it's a must have it's a must have now you can accept call outs as well with vocal dispatch okay so let's see i must have accidentally i must have accidentally accepted that call out so let's let's try one more here oh we need a tow truck now okay that's going to be 1070 so one out of six to dispatch can i get a 1070 to armadillo and algonquin well if that says shown responding Dispatch, I need a 1070. See what I mean? Sometimes she'll get you. Most of the time she'll get you. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries. One Adam six to dispatch. Can I get a 1070? And for some reason it just keeps 1070. There it is. So 1070 is going to be your tow truck. And we just need a small one for this vehicle here and i mean i mean that that you know that is pretty much i mean there's more 10 codes and by all means check them all out go in your game try them out and uh just to show you oh there's the police the lspd uh tow truck there so that's pretty cool now just to show you one more i will show you one more and then we'll wrap this up okay uh so let's go ahead and let's bring out let's bring up a a call out you're gonna wait for her to talk one atom six you can show me 1076 1076 Oh, I think it accepted it. So what it did was, is it accept it accepted the call out. Another one you can do is 1051 that also accepts call outs. So once you do it, boom, uh, it shows you instead of having to hit your Y button, you can just say it. Now, um, I was just reading on Reddit that somebody was having somebody was having an issue with a lot of callouts require you to hit your end button to end the callout, and this person was uh, every time they hit their end button, it might you know the key bindings might clash with other key bindings. I told them just use vocal dispatch. So now when you're done with the call, you can hit your button. One item six to dispatch, you can show me code four. Boom. Clears your last call. Show me 10-8. Boom. So you're available. You say 10-8, you're available. Uh, and it's great. One item six, 10-32. Yeah, that one might be a little funky. That's the panic one. And you got 1028, which is your play check. I strongly advise you print out that, that little colorful piece of paper of the 10 codes. It starts with accept call and it ends with the animal control. Print that out, put that near your monitor and just practice it. Do it over and over, go into your game, play with it. But as you all can see, it works great. Uh, no crashes, your, my game load, loaded up the first time I ever installed it, loaded right up. Um, if it does make your game crash, Give it two or three more tries before you just say, you know what, I'm going to get rid of it because it is worth it. Sometimes, depending on your computer, depending on other, you know, mods you have, you might have to give it a couple of tries before your game will fully take it. Okay. That's how LSPDFR is. Sometimes it'll take it. Sometimes it just takes a little bit. Okay. Don't get discouraged. You know, if it crashes your game, you know, go ahead and give it a couple of more tries. And if it continues to crash after four or five times of reloading, then something's clashing, something's not working right. And, you know, we could try to troubleshoot it from there. But 
as you can see on mine, it works great. I've had it ever since I downloaded LSPDFR. And in my opinion, it's another must-have mod. So that is about it, guys. I hope this tutorial was uh, helpful for you. For you, Hit that uh, like button and uh, s help a brother out. Support Jeffrey Gamer. Uh, until next time, be on the lookout for 100 subscribers. I'm looking to do this giveaway with these cool prizes. Be on the lookout for more tutorials coming your way and more patrols. I got a good idea of a patrol tonight, so that's going to be coming up as well. Um, so, yeah, that's it, man. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're all being healthy right now. And, uh, you know, stay inside. Wash your hands. Let's get over this together, guys. Until next time, Jeffrey Gamer's out. Peace out, everybody.